It exists. Hey everybody, it's Garrick again. So, Placidip is becoming a fairly popular product inside of the prop and costume community. And for those of you who don't know what Placidip is, uh, it's a brand name for a rubberized paint. Um, most often when we're talking about it, we ta we're talking about the aerosol version, although you can get it in cans just as a liquid rubber. Now, the reason why so many people like using this is because it's excellent for sealing uh, craft foam, EVA foam. Um, it's also good for giving things a Rubberized looks similar to how cast urethane and latex looks when it's finished. Now, up until recently, most stores that you can buy this at, uh, hardware stores, uh, big box stores that have hardware departments, uh, they only carried some basic colors. You could get black, white, yellow, red, and blue, maybe. Um, but recently, I've been noticing more specialty variations of Placidip pop up and around at different stores, and this one really caught my eye. This is clear Placidip. People have been talking about wanting this forever. So I took it upon myself to test how clear Placidip works. Um, this was all done very quickly, so I have yet to see how any of this works. We're gonna find out together. And I've taken my sample pieces and I have gone in order of preparation. So the, this is all EVA foam floor mats, the kind that people use to make uh, Mass Effect armor or Iron Man armor. Now starting from here, we have completely untreated foam. This is just the paint right on top of the foam. And the three paints I tested are an acrylic brush on paint, the Krylon Plastic Fusion paint, and then Montana Gold Aerosol Acrylic paint. So let's see how the paints fare. This is untreated, and it's got a good amount of flex. No cracking. You are getting some wrinkles in it, but uh, nothing too bad so far. It's uh, probably one of the reasons why Acrylic is one of the favorite ways to paint foam. Um, you are actually roughing the surface up more than you are getting rid of the paint. Now this is a couple of coats of that Krylon uh, Fusion for Plastic, which is another popular paint to use on foam. And on untreated foam, it starts cracking when you get any kind of pressure put on. When it flexes back in, it's kind of hard to see the cracks, but the more you flex it, the more it pops. And this is the Montana Gold, the acrylic based spray paint. Um, it's a tagger or graffiti paint, if you want to call it that. Um, I call it awesome because they have fantastic colors. Uh, and the coverage on it is insane. I'll probably have to do a whole video on the Montana Gold at some point. But again, same thing, you're getting some cracking with it, nowhere near as bad as the uh, Plastic Fusion. But the other thing you're getting is I can kind of even feel it starting to come off on my fingers. So for this next batch, I prepped the foam with a coating of black plastic dip underneath. Kind of go through it again. Same performance, if not a little bit better, on the brush on acrylic. Um, you're still getting wrinkling, but you're not getting that, that kind of peeling apart that you were when it was untreated. The, oh, I'm not supposed to do the yellow next. The yellow still cracks. You still get these flex on all of that. The red, it actually holds the paint a little better. Um, up 
from this distance, you're not noticing as many large hairline fractures running through the paint job. Now this is untreated bottom with the clear on top. You're getting about the same for our, uh, most of this with just the acrylic paint. Now one thing that you can notice, I think you can see it from here most likely, is that I pooled the plastic dip a little too thick in certain spots so it got hazy. So you need to watch how uh, thick you put the stuff on. Now one thing I did notice is that it does not scratch as easily as this one does. This one, and you can hear the difference, and I can see the scratches so much clearer than I can with this top coat. The Fusion. Notice you're still getting the cracks, but the top coat is holding the paint together. So it's naturally pulling it back into place stronger, I think, than the unfinished or untop coated paint. Then the Montana Gold. It's kind of in the same boat. You're still getting that flexing and that, that micro cracks going on underneath, but this top coat is kind of holding everything together. And then on the final piece, Again, same thing, I think I pulled the uh, paint on, the plastic dip on a little too thick. But this has been both sealed with black plastic dip and then had a coat of clear plastic dip on top. And I'm not hearing anything or seeing any cracks in this uh, brushed on acrylic. And I'm not damaging it the same way I was uh, by scratching it. You're still getting cracks in the yellow, but it's still pulling itself all back together very nicely. And then the Montana Gold. I'm hardly seeing any of the cracks or fissures. So I think the takeaway from this is that um, the Krylon Plastic Fusion uh, I don't personally like very much. Unless you're building a foam piece that's going to have no flex in it at all. Like you're, you're really trying to harden it up. Um, that's the only time I think I would use this. Otherwise it just seems, even when treated, uh, nicks or anytime you bend weird or something hits into it, you're going to get cracks along your paint. Although. When it's been sealed and top coated, the amount of damage that's done is lessened. Um, so I think that that is basically what, what this is going to be good for, is extending the life on your paint job of your foam armor or costume pieces. Now it's not going to make it perfect, you're still going to get wear and tear. You just might get that one extra convention out of it before you need to repaint or rebuild. So, anyways, again, if you like this video, please subscribe. We've got plenty more coming down the pipeline. Uh, if you want to see more of mine and my wife's work, you can check us out at noonesdesigns.com, or you can follow us on Twitter, at noonesdesigns, or on Facebook, at facebook.com slash noonesdesigns. See you around.